welcome to Mitch Rosen TV, me and Sean Hawkey doing a little bit of uh, hamstrings and back today. So we're just doing, we're trying a few things out, we're just doing a slight bent leg on the, like a deadlift but on the cable, we've obviously raised the block up as you can see. So um, we have obviously got a bent leg in this and uh, you'll see we're actually going to superset this with a, a really nice piece of equipment which is a kneeling single hamstring curl. So you'll see on this one, so we've got the stiff legs going in and then we basically superset. So you can see on this we've got a nice long reach forward, obviously don't do this if you've got a dodgy lower back. But this works perfect to stretch my hamstrings out, I've been doing quite a lot of hamstring work for competitions coming up in April, so uh, I hope you can utilise this. And then as I said we're going to go straight on to a single, and it's like a kneeling, as you'll see now. It's like a kneeling machine, absolutely lovely piece of equipment. And obviously with this you can't go silly amount of weight, as you can see I'm trying to, what I do is I bring my toes up towards my face, that's what we call a dorsiflexion, so you get a quite a stretch in the calf, and you'll see at the bottom of the leg, just speed that up, because obviously we're doing quite a few sets on this as well. You're off. <laughs> the angle. So on this one we're going to do our deadlifts in the Smith machine. Raise block, same again, just so we can get that little bit more of a stretch. And you can see I flick my toes up at the top. That just shows that I try and drive all the weight into my heels. I've got an overhang grip rather than a lock grip. When I do go heavy, I do use a lock grip normally. But you can see I'm literally pulling my toes up so all the weight drives through to my heels. And you can see the difference in the way me and Sean, we're just trying different angles, so we're just changing it round to see how we feel. Remember me and Sean experiment quite a lot because still you need to understand there are tiny little sort of movements that you can do and changes to exercise to make it feel better for yourself. There's always the right and the wrong way to do things, but we're quite experimental because we know how our body feels. So you can see Sean's feet are flat, obviously my toes raise up and obviously we've changed around and then I'm going to try it. The reason I just felt this, I couldn't grip it quite so well because you've got to allow for the bar to come away from you. And I found that my grip, and when I focus on my grip, I don't focus on the exercise that I'm doing. That's like, for example, when I do deadlifts, I use a lock grip because I find that my grip doesn't go as bad. It doesn't fatigue as bad. And then we're just going to throw in some chin-ups. These are one of Sean's favourites. They're not my favourite. Uh, I'm just going obviously following with Sean today, so uh, we're just going to go into the chins and then you'll see me do a set. We're going to do about three sets of these, just as many as we can. We're not counting these, we're just obviously going to go to a favourite. Mate, you are right. You've just, you've just got on camera. <laughs> you'll, be all over, you'll be all over YouTube. <laughs>
Sarah Mass.